Getting rid of homelessness. We're getting rid of it. That's the challenge. Get everybody back on their feet. Get everybody to live the live life that they should be living. You grow up in a family, whether it's your mom or your father or both. They're hugging you. They're telling you what you can accomplish. You can accomplish anything you want, this, that, and the other. And you don't realize how damaging it is for a kid to not have that. And not only to not have that, but then to, to get that from the wrong crowd, you know, it's, uh, it's very damaging. When I was like you, you couldn't tell me a thing. No father plus half a mother equals, how can you feel my pain? 16, I'm on my own, now I'm grown, so I do things my way. Death before dishonor. Make sure you stay in your lane. There's dysfunctionality in my family from my grandmother. And then I see how she abused my uncle, my mom, my auntie, and it affected them when they became adults. So my mom got with this guy and he held my hands in hot water. Third degree burns. This happened the day before I turned two. My mom didn't divorce that dude till I was 11. Had me calling him daddy and everything. When I got my weight up, I was like, no man will ever put his hands on me again. After I seen how he beat my mom, like no man will ever put his hands on me. No man will ever put his hands on anyone in my family. You know? And I caught a case, I went to prison for four years. And everyone was like, you're the last person you think would end up there. Everybody makes mistakes. And I think for them, they've made a couple of poor choices in their life, which then led them down this path of self-destruction. And we can easily just sit back and say, well, they made their bed, now they have to lie in it. But what type of people are we to do that? And you know, we all make mistakes. We homeless. Yes, sir. I understand, sir. The mind is strong. I remember when I was in prison, and I would read every book I can get. I was not there. I was on that ship with these pirates in this story, you know? And the same thing now here, when I'm writing my pieces, I could zone out and, and not even mentally be here on Skid Row, just be where my thoughts would, where, where they would take me. We want you to look at breathing space as a tool that does what? It accelerates your life, right? So, Tony, Tony's gonna read his work. Let's give him some love. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to all of you. I'm going to do Society Has Forgotten Me, because all of us that ended up here, every time we just take one step out the gate, we have a reminder of what can happen to us if we go back to our old nature. As the moon rise to turn light to night from day, rats come out from hiding to eat and play. What a shame to see humans live this way. What a pity to see humans choose this fate. As I started taking these classes, I realized this is the best thing that ever happened to me, was coming to the Los Angeles Mission. And I wish it could have happened earlier. The school they got me in, they got me help. I do my part, keep my grades good. After the two years, they're transferring me over to Cal State LA for my BA in psychology and paying for it. I'm like, man, that's a blessing, you know? After that, I can get a job and go back and work up, you know? God's will, I'll be Dr. Tate. It put you on the right path to be able to yeah, exactly. be unstoppable. Exactly. Then it's on you to do the work. Art saved my life. The dancing, the writing, the poetry. That was always my, my zone where I can go to, so I never felt the full impact of the things that happened to me. He's reinventing himself, and he's finding something else that he's passionate about doing. You know, dance was something that he was passionate about but maybe he has a different calling. I mean, he wants to tell his story so other people can get inspired by it. That's phenomenal. I mean, he's studying. I mean, he wants to understand psychology. Maybe that's his calling. You know? But he has the ambition, he has the drive to be able to accomplish it, despite everything that he's been through. It's the opportunity that I didn't have, that most children have when they graduate from high school in a structural home. I never had that. I've been on my own since I was 16. So I have that chance now, and I'm trying to make the best out of this opportunity.